An important aspect of training umpires is teaching them how to handle game management issues. How do you do that when there are no issues during any of the games? Coming up next. In the previous video, I talked about the problem with having too many umpires and not enough games. Obviously, we don't want umpires to quit because they can't support their equipment, training, and development costs associated with being an umpire if they don't have enough games to actually umpire. One solution is to develop umpires to the point where they can branch out from little league games where the coaches and spectators are very calm and encouraging for the most part to having them do some travel tournaments where things might get a little bit more rough. This would open up more games for the newer umpires. To be honest, even at travel tournaments, most of the time there are no problems, but coaches may complain and argue about the strike calls and the safe and out calls. They will also have a higher expectation of umpires knowing how to do the job well. Unlike Little League, umpires will need to know how to handle situations and how to endure some of the comments from behind the fence, especially with the 12U and under, where most of the problem coaches and spectators seem to exist. Hey, let's go, Paul. Post comments on any ideas you have on how you can help both youth and adult umpires become better at game management. Here are the ways I might address this in 2023. Hold a training with a mock game where volunteers act out as coaches and spectators. Create situations they are likely to see at the travel game and provide them with tools, as well as recognizing the difference between people reacting emotionally in the moment and people being a-holes. I've seen the video by John Galante on ejections. That's a really good video, but it's a bit much for youth umpires as those situations they use are over the top. Address it. No! You just stay where you are? Literally just like this. It comes out. Mass never came off, and I'm back to the pitcher. A second, two seconds. I'll, I maybe go like this. Oh, we got a tough guy now? What? We got a tough guy now? <laughs> Boom. That's it. Seriously. Yeah. That's it. And look, another another warning. I'll ask them to repeat themselves even if I did hear them. What would you say? And if it repeats, that's it. Most games don't have major issues. Most games go over really well with a complaint here or there. But we do want to provide some training so an umpire has confidence. I think the two key aspects of moving to the next level of umpiring are, one, they know how to umpire really well. They have the mechanics, movements, timings down fairly well. If you are good, you don't usually see a lot of problems in games. And two, they need to know how to deal with a situation or trouble coach and spectator with some confidence. I also think it's important to put them on a game with an experienced umpire or at least have someone at the game that's got their back until they prove that they're able to handle games. There may be a problem in the world of baseball with umpires, but it's not likely why you think. Until we change the narrative, it's only going to continue to be the same. Step out. Step out of the back. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry, Blue. Oh.